Good morning to you. I'm Teresa Dufour with today's CT Style Express. The past year has been challenging for many of us, especially for organizations catering to seniors. Mary Wade did their best to keep seniors engaged and safe. Here with more is President and CEO David Hunter. Nice to see you, Mr. Hunter. Thank you for chatting with us today. Nice to see you, Teresa. It's always a pleasure. Uh, so for our viewers who might not be familiar, give us kind of the mission behind Mary Wade and where you're located. Okay, Mary Wade is uh, where it was founded in 1866. That's over 150 years ago uh, at the corner of Clinton and Pine in Fairhaven, uh, section of, uh, of New Haven. Mm -hmm. uh, and Mary Wade is a nonprofit organization. Uh, our board of uh, volunteer trustees uh, are from all over this greater New Haven area. And they're very committed to uh, the mission of the organization and and the direction it's it will you know it needs to be taken in the future as well as you know staying right with us uh, the the entire period of this this terrible pandemic mm -hmm. uh, period that we've gone through. So um, Mary Wade has a, a continuum of care. Um, it, it, we've you know we've we strive to meet the needs of people and so as as we see needs then we start a new program so we have you know many levels of care that will are suitable for you know specific needs of of seniors here in in the greater new haven area sure and mr under how are the older adults who are living at mary wade kind of adjusting to this post-pandemic life well you know i think i've said this before I mean, we're, we're talking about uh we're talking about the greatest generation that the United States has ever known. They've seen heartache and they've gone through some some tough times in their in their life, and so I think that they I think they take it in stride. Of course, it's been very challenging. You know, early on when there was isolation and and trying to get them to wear masks. <laughs> uh, that could be challenging, right? <laughs> that's a big Just a one. Just a way of yes. life now, though. It is. It is, and we're constantly saying, you know. Get it up over your nose and get it off your chin, and so uh, you know. The, but you know, we, we've we've made fun of you know we've had some fun with all of this. Uh, the staff of you know early on really became you know the surrogate family members uh, as well as the ca the caregivers. Uh, but now you know we've opened up on the on the visitation. All of our senior, all of the residents here on campus have vac have been vaccinated. Oh, Many of the most of the staff have been vaccinated and. Uh, we still test our staff twice a week, uh, and if you know, according to the CMS guidelines, if there's one, if there's one COVID case positive, then it's it's considered an outbreak, and then we start testing our residents once a week at that point too. So, uh, and, you know, but as you know, as you've been reporting um, over time, uh, things are easing up now, and uh, you know we're you know we're happy about that this whole last two weeks we've had parties outside in our gardens many people don't realize the beautiful gardens that mary wade has and you know they're really healing gardens so so to get get the residents outside sure. and we have entertainment and the families are here visiting and uh last friday we had an ice cream truck here oh i love that that's great news <laughs> awesome yeah we had you know, ice every kids had ice cream the residents had ice, the family members it was a lot of fun and we yeah. had you know we had a lot of music and and um life's getting yeah, so back to normal right it's yes. slowly yeah, but surely uh mr under i wanted to ask you a question it's tough to drive around the greater new haven area and not see your vans with the stars on them i had a question about uh where are they going who's utilizing them initially our vans uh were uh, acquired in order to bring uh people who are living in the community into our adult day center uh, and that was the primary uh, focus of it. However, we have a program through the Agency on Aging of South Central Connecticut, and the uh, city of New Haven has also helped us uh, with some funding. And we transport seniors who are over 60 years old, who are not on Medicaid, but need transportation to and from a doctor's office or dentist's office. And it's, it's a free program uh, that, uh, in, you know, we request a donation because it's part of the, the regulations, but uh, it's 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 non it, we don't charge for that. Wow. And on Saturdays and Sundays, we'll pick up people and bring them to, let's say, Walmart. So we'll, it'll be more of a group group uh, program. We'll pick up a, a group of people from one of the senior housing centers and bring them to a shopping center. And then on Sundays. You need yeah. field trips, right? <laughs> well, yeah. Mr. Hunter, thank you so much for chatting with us. You guys have made great progress. You're doing wonderful things. You can learn more over at marywade.org. We appreciate your time today.
Oh, thank you. Thank All you. All right. That is your CT Style Express. I'm Teresa Dufour. Enjoy your day.